everybody. Just want to extend our appreciation to the choir, starting with this beautiful organ solo that uh, um, Timothy gave to us, and then shout to the Lord, followed by the Sita Ayos rendition. Uh, this is the Apostolic Faith Mission. For those of you that are watching us over the internet, and the branch that you're watching is at Fenham Road in Peckham. You're quite privileged to come and worship with us anytime that you have uh, um, a minute. If you live close by, you might as well want to make your way to the church. But otherwise, we wish you um, a very happy and spiritual viewing. This morning, um, Sister uh, Olus is our song leader, and we want to continue in the momentum that has been set by the choir and orchestra. And I want to believe that everyone will sing heartily. God bless you. We'll be singing from CGS 21. CGS 2 1. We'll take the first and the last verse of this song only, seated after the introduction by the organist. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. <laughs> accept our praises. Our next song is from SSNS 902. SSNS 902. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. It is on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Amen. Um, we'll take verse 1 and 4 only of this song. Verses 1 and 4 only, still seated after the introduction by our organist.
prayer is CGS 686. CGS 686. The first and the third verse. And we'll take all the two verses, verse 1 and 3. Sorry, verse 1 and 3, yes. Verse 1 and 3 standing. And after which we shall be led in congregational prayers. Verses 1 and 3 standing after the introduction by the organist. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning Amen. for being here, Heavenly Father. Yes. It's a privilege. Yes. Others who intended to be here are not here, Father God. But we thank you. Amen. We thank you for the gift of life. Amen. We thank you that we have come as we are without one plea. We need you, Jesus. Come down and bless us. Hear us, Heavenly Father, as we are going to hear the word we ask you, Jesus, open our hearts. Open our spiritual eyes that we may see. We need you, Jesus. We need your grace, because without you, Jesus, we are nothing. Come down, Holy Spirit. Bless each and every one, Heavenly Father. Touch our hearts. Father God, help us not to have hardened hearts. Soften our hearts. Put the heart of flesh Amen. that as the word will go by heavenly father we will see where we are yet Amen. and then father god you will make us right yes. because our aim heavenly father is to make heaven our home yes. everything else father god passes but your eternal home does not help us jesus as we are save souls Amen. sanctify Amen. baptize with the holy spirit heal the sick revive us again heavenly father we need that revival only you jesus can give we thank you jesus we pray this prayer knowing that you are able to answer in jesus name amen Uh, scripture reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 7. We read through 20, verses 24 to 29. Matthew, chapter 7, beginning from verse 24. Verse 24, therefore... Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a, a wise man yeah. which built his house upon a rock. Mm -hmm. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Verse 26. And everyone that 
heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. 28. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7, I'm reading the 24th verse. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. 
We thank God for this church because it's a place where we are exposed to the truth. God will have us consider before we go and pray the topic on foundation. Foundation is very important. And if we consider this place of worship, it's been built for so many years, even though a lot of uh, maintenance have been done. Notwithstanding, it was properly, uh, the foundation was properly done. Otherwise, we wouldn't have even met it at all. So it's been important since that time, it's still important today. Yeah. When you are building a, a house and uh, when, if the foundation is not properly done, all the other structures, uh, they may seem to stand for some time, but it's sure to crumble. In the same way, our spiritual house, if we build our spiritual house just anyhow, then it will not pay us. For example, the person who wants to build a house, well, live in places where you have to, first of all, buy the land, and he or she must have enough money, first of all, to, to buy the land. And after buying the land, uh, there are procedures that has got to be followed. You have to do the, uh, the survey and then do some planning how you want the building uh, to be. And if it's a place where you have to go through the uh, planning, the town planning, or whatever it is called, you have to get approval. You have to look at the, the drawing and give the approval that you can build the house. So that's just a, a kind of initial preparation. And uh, in addition to that, if the person knows about building, he will need to hire uh, laborers, first of all, clear the ground, and then they will dig the foundation and People who are experienced, they will have to be looking at it and see that it is properly done so that the, uh, the money will not be wasted. God wants us to really sit down, as it were, and think about our spiritual foundation. And uh, as I said earlier on, we thank God for a church like this where uh, we are just giving the truth. But God wants us to do something about it, not just hearing it alone, but to do it. A genuine spiritual foundation must be built and patterned after only one. In Isaiah chapter 26, verse 16, let's read that. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. We are talking about spiritual foundation.
Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. That can be referred to only one person, and that is Jesus Christ. That if we build our spiritual house on that rock, then it is sure to stand. Amen. That house is sure to stand Amen. if we build on him. Because he is the only one, the rock that cannot fail. Yes. The, rock, the rock that can stand and withstand all the storms. Amen. So how do we make uh, how do we start? You see, we, we always hear all the time that we have to pray and uh, make sure that our sins are forgiven. If we truly mean to be saved, Jesus will save our souls because he has come to die so that we can live. Amen. We thank God for such a love. Amen. The love of Jesus is greater than the love of our parents. Amen. So Jesus wants us to build on him. Amen. And if we truly mean to go to heaven, we must start right. If we start right, then we need to continue as well. Yes. No wonder Jesus told the, those who are listening to him in John chapter 8, verse 31, that they will, if they continue in his word. So continuing in the word of Jesus is a, uh, what is the most important thing? The word that Jesus speaks, they are true, they are alive, they are what will make us stand. The word of Jesus. Jesus himself is the word of God. We sing from time to time, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. If we truly mean that Jesus will help us, yes. he has the power to help us. He can do and undo. And uh, we know that Jesus can never deceive us. When he says yes, he means yes. The only one upon whom, when we build, we will be happy. Jesus is the only one. I'm reading from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 25. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more. But let's see the latter part. But the righteous is an everlasting foundation. The righteous is an everlasting foundation. Amen. So we keep qualifying it that that foundation must be started in Jesus and continue in him. And that is why and how that building will stand. It will stand because he can uh, he has everything to give us to withstand the test of time. No wonder. So if, we, if our house as a righteous person is going to be an everlasting foundation, then we will be free from sin. Jesus has the power to help us yes. so that we can live a life 
free from sin. Yeah. Every day of the week, every week, and then every month of the year. Yeah. Every year, as many years as he wants us to live, he can give us the grace. Yeah. That is where our house, spiritual house, will be standing. Because he says that if I allow iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But if we have built our house on him, then we can call him when we have problems. We can thank him when we go on our knees. We can thank him in our heart. And we are ready to tell others that Jesus is able to help them. May God give us a sincere heart. Amen. And that is what Jesus is able to do for us. In uh, the text that was read to us, the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7, where we started from, um, let's see some of the verses. Verse 25, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And then he proceeds to say that, and everyone, 26, everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. Maybe God wants us to examine whether our house, our spiritual house, is built on the rock or upon the sand. What happened to the house? 27. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. If we look at uh, our church here, a number of us that have been here for some years, we say from time to time that if all our friends that have been worshiping with us Let's even go back to 15 years ago. If all of them are here, we will not only have Bexley. We will have more than that. And uh, perhaps a number of them have uh, prayed on the altar and uh, determined to follow Jesus. And maybe they have even stood up to tell us about the wonderful things that God has done for them. But this, as Jesus Christ was asking, when one of the 10 lepers who were cleansed came to give, to give thanks, but where are the nine? And uh, only one person came to say, thank you to God. We thank God that uh, as many as are still alive, Jesus still loves them. Yeah. And Jesus doesn't want us, he doesn't want them to perish. He doesn't want us to perish too. So we must have uh, concern for them, to pray for them, that God who has helped us, we open their eyes again. Yeah. When they ask you or myself, are you still in that church? We say, yes, Jesus is keeping me. Jesus still loves you too. That place is still ready for you. Jesus is still waiting for you. Amen. And uh, if we look at what is happening in our society, we see that people want 
something that will not last. And they believe that is what will last. But we thank God that Jesus can never deceive us. If we just want something that will uh, give some color or just be presentable as far as man is concerned. But God does not look at our faces only. He looks more than our face from our face into our heart. He sees everything. Yes. You don't see my heart. I don't see yours. But Jesus sees. Yes. That's why we need to build on him. Because our house will not crumble. Yes. If we build on him, our house will stand. Yes. He is able to help us. Yes. So we need to make progress. We need to make progress by following Jesus. When we build a house, sometimes uh, after the house has been completed and people are living there, sometimes people rent, uh, renting a room, is renting the room, he wants to paint the room himself and make sure it, is, it looks good. So we need to continue to maintain that building so that it will not only, it's not just standing, it's standing, but it will look presentable as well. Yeah. Jesus wants us to shine for him, yeah. and he can help us to shine. Yeah. If we look back at our zeal today, what is yours like, what is mine like? Uh, do I still have that zeal to go out and tell others do I still have the zeal that uh, I want to do something for God, even if I am not uh, asked to do anything that people will be seeing me? Am I really interested to do something? God help us Amen. so that we will not only uh, say it out, but we will live for that rock. The rock is Jesus. Amen. He is able to help us. Amen. We don't want to just say, Lord, Lord, without doing what he tells us to do. May he help us to obey him. Amen. The solid rock. Amen. Whatever be our state, we want him to help us so that our house will stand. Yeah. Yeah. If we look at our lessons, series of lessons we've been learning about uh, Pharaoh, uh, we, all we read about uh, uh, Pharaoh's heart is hard, the Lord hardened it, uh, hardened his heart. But if we look well in the Bible, we see that. Um, even in our lessons, it's been explained to us that the same uh, sun that makes the ice to melt, the same sun will make the clay to become hard. So may God help us so that our heart will not be in the region of clay. Amen. May God give us an icy heart, yeah. if we can put it that way that will melt uh, the word of God, we melt our heart, and we make us to see where we are wrong, and we rush to God to the altar, Amen. anywhere, we can use anywhere as the altar. It may be in our house, when God speaks to us, we want to pray, God help me. Amen. When he shows us that uh, we are wrong somewhere, we don't want to play politics with God. A politician may promise that he will do this, he will do that. But uh, maybe before he gets the, uh, the power, he will say about 25 things. Maybe when he gets there, he will see that he can only do five of them. And then he will find something to cover up. But we know we cannot play games with God. We don't want the, the house of our spiritual uh, 
eternal foundation, we don't want it to be crumbled. We don't want it to be uh, like the man who built his house upon the sun. God help us. Amen. Say righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. God help us to be righteous. Amen. And this, the psalmist is asking in Psalm 11 verse 3, say, if, <clears throat> if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? What is he going to do? He's no more righteous. If the foundation is destroyed, then, then there's no more righteousness. If I am wrong, and I accept that I am wrong, you know, uh, the, the journey will not be too long. But if I begin to play here, there, uh, it's like blue, it's like white, it's like red. If it is red, say it is red, because it is obvious that that thing is red. God help us. Amen. And how do we continue to, so that uh, the house that we have built, how do we maintain it? You know, you get a paint, you paint the house, you decorate it, but to decorate th that building we continue to stand, said, how can a, a young man, that young man, the psalmist is asking, how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking it there to according to thy word. So the word of God is uh, what will make us to stand. When we read the Bible, we will see where we are short. When we read the Bible, he will give us instructions. When we read the Bible, he will give us counseling. More than what a man or, or a woman can give us. When we read the Bible, God will talk to us. Amen. And when we go and pray, we talk to him as well, because he is our father. Yeah. Revelation. He is our father and is always ready to help us. Yeah. He wants us to be happy. Yeah. He doesn't want us to just... Uh, continue like that but he wants us to be happy if we build on him Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things that are written therein for the time the time is at hand so reading the word is one thing we need to read it it will pass into our heart through our head, but we must keep it in our heart. Amen. And God will help us to do that. Amen. So we want God to help us to check what, how have we been maintaining that uh, building? How have you been maintaining it? No, we will continue to say the word of God because that is our root. He, he told the Joshua, say this, word, the, the, this law of God must not depart out of their mouth. Say thou shalt meditate day in, therein, day and night. For therein thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. Amen. That is what everybody wants. Amen. If we build on him, Hey, the rich promises can be ours this year. Amen. If we build on that so, uh, Jesus, the solid foundation, we need to bear the burden of others. How do we do that? We pray for them to show that we are members of the same body. We have been, uh, we are, our houses are built on one and that one and self person who is Jesus Christ. How do we bear the, uh, the burden of others? We should pray for them and do whatever we can to help them so that to make them comfortable. That shows we are built upon that rock, yeah. the rock which is Jesus Christ. 
he can never fail. Amen. Sometimes, some people, they do underpinning. If they say that uh, maybe the wall, there's a problem with the wall, is to make the wall, the side of that wall to be very strong. And God wants us to be strong this year. Yeah. No wonder uh, God has put in the heart of our leader to arrange a prayer for the whole month. God help us to take advantage. Yeah. Jesus, our solid rock. Yeah. We can stand on him. Yeah. He is able to solve all our problems. Yeah. We want to beg him that uh, this year, you can say that, I can say that too. I want him to examine that my foundation. Is it built on him? And if it is, am I maintaining it as I should? If not, we want him to please help us to make amends. Amen. He said that we should meditate on the word. The word of God is, must be our food. He said, desire the sincere make of the word so that you can grow thereby. Then we be our houses we continue to stand and stand. And then we can bring people to Jesus. Amen. Then we'll be able to do exploit for him. Yes. Let's come and tell him uh, on the altar that he should make sure our houses is standing strongly. I will stand forever. Amen. 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 Let's come and tell Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Amen. Thank you for Jesus Christ, Amen. the sure foundation Amen. that has been laid and no one could lay better. Amen. Help us, O oh Lord, to lean on this foundation. Amen. Help us to build on the foundation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless us today as we go on our knees Amen. and reveal ourselves more and more to us. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.